war rages across the mortal realms. New alliances are formed while others lie shattered, and the dominant powers ever seek their next conquest. While this and countless other battles rage on, one fact is becoming clear. The season of war has begun. This video is brought to you by the support of our channel members and the FLGS partners, Warfire Minis and X-Planet. Baron of Dice is the exclusive dice supplier for Season of War. Take a look through their incredible designs or even get your own custom dice made. Hello and welcome to Season of War! Today we are excited to bring you another game of Age of Sigmar. My name is Jordan, I am joined by Steve tonight. How's it going? Uh, local legend with uh, Iron Jaws and uh, uh, other armies as well, but you've been rocking the, the orcs for a while here. Yep, yep. Uh, so since the, the new supplements come out, it's been a lot of fun testing out the, the new units and playing around and getting a change of change of pace from uh, some of the other armies that I play. Yeah, makes sense. And we don't see a lot of like pure Iron Jaws lately. We've, it's been all Bidwa or a lot of Bidwa kind of in the meta, so. Yeah, yeah, like the, the, the number of Iron Jaws players specifically has been very, very small. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's nice to be a, a purist. Yes, and around <laughs> here you've definitely shown that the, the, the true Iron Jaws uh, still have a lot of strength in them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cool, well jumping into things, we are playing Fountains of Frost tonight, so we got Six objectives on the table. It's hold one, hold two, uh, hold more storing. The twists with this one are if you have, if there are three units at the end of the turn on any objective, on a four up, that objective explodes and potentially hurts everything on the objective. And then the other thing is wizards count as 10 models. Sorry, and Dorian Lotus has count as 10 models. Not just uh, any wizard, so I have one. Uh, I do not have any. Yeah, you have got all <laughs> aggro, no magic. All here, damage, no casting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, with that, um, Steve, do you want to jump in and take us through your list? All right, so uh, we've got three units of Brutes, uh, two units of five, along with a unit of 10, all equipped with the Jagged Gore Hackers for the extra rend. Um, we've got a Mog Runto with a Hacking Crew uh, for that sweet rampage that he does where yeah. he has to do another charge after charging. Uh, Mog Crusher, obviously, can't go anywhere without a Mog Crusher. I cook with the Fast Sun and Destroyer for some really big beat stick. Uh, we're actually going to try out Zogrok Anvil Crusher. Anvil Smasher? Anvil Smasher. Anvil Smasher. Uh, this time. So I've never used him before, but I'm, uh, I'm excited to give him a try with his uh, Mortal Wounds on Sixes. Uh, we've got the two War Chances, one with the Fixin' Beat so that he can heal up some people, and the 3d6 charge right there on the uh, Get Him Beat. And then, of course, can't go anywhere without pigs, so we got a unit of six pigs. Nice, yeah. Mug. And you've been rocking a ton of blood tooths uh, lately. We only had six pages for you here today, though, but yeah. that's your, so you're trying something a little different. Yeah, yeah. So the sub faction today is going to be Iron Suns. We're going to be uh, charging in your charge phase. Yep. Uh, just to just to mess you up on some of your plans there. <laughs> Makes sense, and obviously works well with the big pigs. Oh yeah, keeping that momentum going, yeah. especially with the changes now that we don't lose it. Turn yes. Turn. Yeah, this will be the first time we've had him on since uh, the Battle Scroll, so... It's the first time I'll be using him since Perfect. the Battle Scroll. Yeah, so. good test for everyone. <clears throat> but then for myself, I'm playing Gloom Spike Gits, uh, Jaws of Mork here. As you can probably tell, I've got lots of Squidge, so they're gonna get plus one attack on the charge with Jaws of Mork. And to jump right into it, I've got a big unit of 36 Squid Herd, uh, 36 Squids and then six Herders. Obviously, been notorious uh, since the, the new book has come out, uh, what those guys can do. I do then have two units of uh, Boind Rot Bounders as well, both uh, reinforced to, to 10 man units. And then I have a good cast of support heroes and units, starting off with the Sneaky Snufflers who can give out ward saves or potentially plus one attack if they give out a six. Uh, it's really easy, Ridge, all you gotta do is roll a three up. I don't know why it's so hard. And then I've got a Squid Boss who's gonna either give out mushrooms, he can do a pre-game move with the Squid Herd, so just good tech piece there. I then have a Loon Boss on Mangler Swig, which isn't a super common piece, but here uh, he is my general. He's got uh, the command trait that gives him plus one hit and wound on the mount attached, which, which is both the gobs and the balls and chain. And then I have the artifact that gives his gobs an additional rend. Uh, so hopefully he's gonna be lethal here tonight. Let's see whose beat stick's more beady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine's a little smaller, but he makes up for it in ferocity. I then have two wizards here, uh, one being Stragrot, uh, the Loon King, so he's just got a ton of uh, flexibility and tech and knows the whole spell lore for Gits, which is awesome. 
And then I have a Madcap Shaman as well. He has uh, Hoarfrost as his chosen spell. And he's got the artifact, uh, the Moonface Mommet, which is another amazing one. Uh, if I can make something within 12 inches, minus one to save. Combined with teleports, I can get that around and positioned where I want to when I need it. But that's it for the army. Uh, my power's mostly in a few centralized units, so we'll see if they can do work for me tonight. And I'm gonna start the moon over here in like the uh, southwest uh, corner for the camera. So this is where the moon is gonna start in this table corner and then slowly move across the battlefield. But Steve, uh, you outdropped me here being two drops, uh, double battle reg. Always, uh, single battle reg okay. and one extra here. Okay, nice. Well, it is gonna give you choice of who goes first because I was four drops here. Then uh, I think, sir, I'm gonna give you the first turn. Okay. Because uh, See how I don't think you can get to me be? yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, makes sense. Well, with that, we'll just be jumping into Gloom Spike Gits, turn one. So I'll start off by rolling Primal Dice. I'll just roll them for both of us, and we get two each. Then I'm gonna go for Magical Dominance for my battle tactic, because both my wizards are out of uh, unbind range. And I'll just go for Heroic Leadership for my Heroic Action, and I'll get an extra CP. My best case here is I'm just gonna go for Heroic Leadership as well. And we'll put that on the Maw Crusher here. And we'll get that. Then for spells, I'm gonna start off with the Madcap Shaman. He's gonna cast a Horror Frost. And I don't get that, and I don't want to use a primal because of that one, unfortunately. Are you sure? I'm it's destruction. I'm, I'm tempted to, because not a lot of stuff would care in my army, but killing my heroes would matter. <laughs> then Scrag Rot, I guess we'll just cast the Mystic Shield, which he'll get. And I'll put that on one of the units of Bounders. And there's nothing really else for me to cast here because I actually don't plan on charging, surprisingly <laughs> enough, but I'm then gonna go into uh, some other buffs. The Squid Boss is gonna use Yellow Lurkas on the, uh, the Squid Herd, so that'll be the Mortal Wounds on Sixes for the Mouths. And then he's gonna use his ability to give them a Hero Face move. And they will move a total of eight inches. Then after the movement, my sneaky snufflers are going to try and give their buff out. Three up, easy, like I said. Uh, so those squids are going to have a five up ward save. And that's it for my hero phase, so we're going to jump into the rest of the movement. Don't forget you can get access to four extra battle reports every month by supporting the channel through our YouTube membership. Hit the join button below the video to learn more. All right, so that's it for movement, and I'm not gonna go for any charging, have no shooting in this army, because who needs shooting when you have uh, giant mouths with sharp teeth? I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing too crazy here. I did get the five up ward up on my squid herd, and as opposed to like, I mean, you could always rush up and try and yeet one unit in, but when it can get counter-attacked and counter-charged in, in my own turn by so many units, really didn't seem like the wise decision. Though I am, with this list, already fearing some of the strengths of Iron Jaws is obviously the mobility with uh, getting things where they want to go with Mighty Destroyers and different tools. And I don't have units that I really love screening with. So there's a big risk there. I did get them off of Mystic Shield, which will help a little bit with the defenses. And the squids are trying to take, off, take up the front of the army uh, where I might get hit. And with obviously anything you do throw in, there's always the risk of the double coming back. And hopefully I could clap you back uh, if you come in too super hard. But that's about it. Didn't have anything crazy. Would have loved the hoarfrost on those um, uh, squigs. Rand 3 would be amazing. Oh, you should have used that primal dice. I know, I know. <laughs> I was sorely tempted. Um, but that would have been a big deterrent for coming in. They're still scary on their own, so, um, and they're doing mortal wounds on sixes at least, so still some scary stuff going there, but that's gonna be it for uh, my turn with uh, Gloom Spike Gits. Steve, we're gonna throw it over to you. Jump All into, right. yeah, Iron Jaws, turn one. Bottom of round one, the first turn for Iron Jaws. I think we're going to uh, select our battle tactic to be Intimidate the Invaders, so we're gonna have more than half of our units outside of our territory. Yep, easy to do. Very easy on this yeah. map, you know. 
And for a heroic action, I think we're gonna go for a command point on the Maw Crusher there. And we don't get that. Okay, well, we're gonna go for one with Stride Rod as well. And we also fail. Yeah, we're very commanding this turn. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's see some hero phase stuff. Uh, I think we're gonna have the War Chanter. Uh, grants out the Violent Fury. I'm gonna use a token for that on these pigs. And the second war chanter, I think, is going to throw that down on the brutes here because you look pretty close. All right, so we're gonna do the uh, power of the great green god uh, from Zogrok onto the uh, gore gruntas here. Uh, so that's gonna go off on a two plus because I have the grunta tongs. And <laughs> we just start. Don't get yeah. the mortal wounds. All right. Two ups are harder than three ups. <laughs> Rage, I feel your pain. Yeah. All right, uh, then I guess we go into mighty destroyers. Uh, let's start with some pigs here. And number two, I think we're gonna do the Magranta. So yeah, let's do the third one on these brutes here. All right, so I think that's gonna be the end of the hero phase. Let's go into movement. And yeah, I think I'll redeploy the snufflers here. And they will move two inches. So that's the end of the movement phase. Go ahead and do some shooting now. All right, so the mock crusher is gonna shoot into the squig herd here. I got four shots on twos and threes. And three hits to one wound, minus one. It goes through. All right, one damage. You wound a squig. Oh, yes. All right, now for the fun part, we're gonna go into the charge phase. And I think I'm gonna declare a wah here. Okay, <laughs> yep. And uh, start of the charge phase, we're gonna use our war chanter here to grant a 3d6 charge with the get em beat. And we're gonna use that on these picks right here on a three plus. We're doing great with these today. Yeah. <laughs> so no 3d6, but let's uh, let's go ahead and charge these guys first. And because we did a charge move with the Mogranto, we're gonna gain some momentum and we gain d3 with one momentum, so we go up to two. And last but not least. He wants to join the party pressure. too? Oh, he always wants to join the party. Well, that three, four is gonna be pretty bad, so we're gonna use a command point there and re-roll that into a nine, perfect. And because of our command trait hulking brute on a two plus, we're gonna deal D3 mortals. So let's see two more mortal wounds on those, on that square. Oh, and I actually forgot before I had the ward save. So ward saves, I would actually save uh, both of those because I forgot to roll the ward before. So I just All right. just the one. Uh, I think that's it for charges because uh, everybody else here ran. Um, so let's go ahead with some monstrous rampages. Um, over there, I don't think I'm gonna get my special rampage off because I need to roll a one or a two. Okay. Um, so I think, so you know what? I am gonna roar. Okay. The Mangler Squig there. And the Mangler Squig is roared. Okay. And then, yeah, well, let's do a, I think we're just gonna stomp here because they can't do much else. And we'll do our special stomp. So on a two up, there's our two. And you'll D3 plus three mortal wounds for five mortal wounds. Nice. I will save one of those. Take four. Okay. Two Squigs down. And then the Mangler is just going to roar uh, the Tusk Blast back, and he does. All right. All right, so start of the combat phase. I think we actually have to go all the way here, and I'm going to have to pop my Destroyer to make sure I kill all these Squigards. And then I think I'm going to activate the uh, Gorgrunts here. And I am going to use all the defense here because I can't do it anywhere else. And I'm going to be all at attacking. Okay. Uh, this will be the first of three issued here. So let's do the... Riders first on twos and threes. 
and threes. So that's gonna be four, eight, nine at minus three rend. Okay, I am plus two to save, so I will still be on a five. And I saved two of them. So. That's two damage a piece. Yeah, so that's gonna be 14 damage. So I still have a couple left until the mounts. <laughs> and now the pigs will fight. All right, so on twos. You have to do one more wound to finish them off. One more, one, uh, I don't know if I'll do it. <laughs> Threes. Uh, so it's gonna be three, six, nine, twelve at minus one. Uh, threes. You get them. All right. And it's okay. Gonna... They're gonna they're gonna come back. All right. And now we're gonna do our most fun smash and bash. Let's go ahead and go to the. I think we're gonna do the Mog Runta. All right. So we'll just throw everything into the snufflers there. Okay. When the Mog Runner attacks, it only deals 6 damage to the Sneaky Snufflers, failing to take them down and disrupting smashing and bashing. So not as much as I was hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like they, when they're low on momentum, they always underwhelm a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that does mean, though, I get to choose the next activation, and you pulled out my, my general, so I'm just going to have to go with the Squid Herd. Yeah, sounds good. Does it sound good? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with the Squids fighting back, they're splitting their attacks. We got 18 into the Brutes, and... Uh, 10 into the mega boss, so we're gonna roll the brutes first. We are doing mortals on the stitches here. We got a few. Oh boy. So this will be 12 mortals off the top. And wounding on threes. We're gonna have 17 at rend one. This may have been a mistake. <laughs> All right, so rend one, that's gonna make us on five up stage. Okay. All right, 10 go through. So 10 plus we had 12, so 22 damage in total. 22, jeez. So that's gonna kill seven. <laughs> oh my god. Three, four. This is one of those times when you five, see a, like a model on the table, six, and what it does is. Seven. Does not line up with what it looks like. <laughs> no. And I just realized it was the Mortals on Stitches is in addition, so I still have 12 more uh, attacks to wound with, which is gonna give you only 10 more at round one. Only 10 more. <laughs> All right, on fives. So I take seven more, you're gonna kill two more. <laughs> all right, all right, we're, we're, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. And then we will have yep. the, the ten wage into the mega boss. Starting off with five mortals. And ten attacks at rend one. All right, so because we're on a three up save, it's gonna go to four plus. And that one's gone. Whew. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. We don't want to save today. Yeah. Another eight more. So Squid's uh, still pretty good. Seven. Okay. Uh, well, we're up next. Let's, uh, I guess, swing with the little guy, uh, the brute, the single remaining <laughs> brute. Uh, we're going to use that second all out attack there for threes and threes. <clears throat> all hits. And three wounds at minus two. Okay, oh, that'll just go right through, so. All right, so that's gonna be three, six, nine damage. Five of ward. We're gonna save four of them, take five. All right. So kill three more. One, two, three. So then we'll go with the Maw Crusher, who is very deeply wounded. So I did say we're using Destroyer this time. I'm also gonna use my third all-out attack here. Okay. So I think we're gonna use a Triumph here try and clear out most of these before they flee and kill me. Yep. So we're gonna go for twos and twos on all these stacks. Okay. So the big ones first, twos and twos. So that's gonna be four at rend two. They're going right through. And that's 20 damage right there. Not too bad. So then on the beast, these are gonna be twos and twos as well. All right, so it's gonna be five rent three, so that's gonna be another 15 damage. Okay, so 35 total, not too bad. We'll have the five aboard save. And we're gonna save 13, which is almost exactly a third. <laughs> Pretty close. Cool. So I'm taking 22, and that's to kill 11 more guys. Uh, I think we just move into Battle Shock there. Okay. And on my turn, I'm gonna go first and spend that command point so that he does not flee. Okay, let's see if we can <clears throat> uh, do some mortal wounds with our squids. I'm bravery three, you killed 16 of my squid herd. So I'm gonna be losing uh, basically 13 plus D6. 
uh, for 14, which will in the end leave me with just one squig remaining. But it'll let us do some mortal wounds. Despite six squigs bouncing at the brute, only one makes contact and the auric survives with one wound left, as does the mega boss on Maw Crusher, but only because he gained a wound through strength from victory. I was, I was hoping that I would be able to take them both out somehow uh, with the squigs, but I'm, I mean, I'm really shocked I didn't get the brute. Um, but then was was hoping the mega boss was going to go down as well, but didn't I'm get really either. glad they didn't. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's it for Battleshock. Uh, at the end of the turn, we're gonna hold one, hold two, hold more, yep. and score a tactic for five. Yeah, uh, so you're up a point right now, and I, I'm not feeling as bad as that turn looked. Uh, this is my first time ever playing with Squid Herd, um, and it was eye-opening uh, <laughs> to see what, what they can do. How stronger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was painful, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I, think, uh, I think the... The only major mistake there was not fighting with the brutes first. Mm. <laughs> I think, I think if they had gone first and knocked down that squig herd, we probably would have done a lot more than nine damage. Yeah. Well, the um, the the pig not killing the snufflers and triggering uh, many destroyers yeah. again was smash a big bash, yeah. the smash and bashing. Yes. That was that, that was definitely uh, pretty brutal, but yeah. uh, you know it's a dice game, so yeah. now we know for moving forward to fight with brutes first. Before yes, because <laughs> obviously we saw like the amount of damage that they had getting to attack with everything well before the mortals, right? Yeah, yeah. Very, very scary, very scary. Yeah. So it sets us up where I feel like, I was originally thinking this was going to be a very quick game. It <laughs> still may be, um, but I, there's more to it. I have more play than I thought I was going to. This is a very big priority going into round oh, two. Oh yeah, let's see it. Okay. That's a four, uh, we are tied. Ties. I break ties. Steve, I don't think there's any way I can give this away. Are you uh, sure? <laughs> I'm pretty positive. So we're gonna uh, keep up with the, the squiggly shenanigans and jump into Gloom Spike Gets turn two. Uh, we'll start off with primals rolling for both of us. We both get two. All right, so for my battle tactic, I'm gonna go for magical mayhem here actually. So to kill something with magic. Uh, so it's a bit of a risk, but it's one I wanna get out now while you have a couple low health stuff. Yep. I'm then just gonna go for heroic leadership with Stradrod. He fails. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go for some heroic recovery right here. So bravery eight, uh, we're gonna get that on D3 back. We're gonna get one wound back. Okay. I am then going to uh, return some squigs and uh, on two ups, I'm gonna get a D3 for each of my herders. Yep. Uh, I lose one herder, but I'm gonna return five D3 squigs for 11. All right, yay. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna rally up some, uh, some brutes there. <clears throat> and we're gonna get one brute back. And then into the hero phase proper, I'm gonna start off with spell casting, going for the big fangs of the bad moon with Scragrot. It's going off on an 11. That's oh 11 boy. dice. That's gonna oh. hurt. And I will throw a couple primals at that. 15. 20? 20? <laughs> yeah, it goes off on a 20. I mean, if I don't get this, uh, I think I'm gonna lose my Maw Crusher. Uh, so that's an eight. Uh, I don't think I can beat that. Okay. And anyway. All right, well, you called it. We're doing uh, 11 three ups into a Mega Boss. <laughs> And we're gonna get at least two nine mortal wounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna die. That's unfortunate. So that's gonna be the battle tactic, though, which is very handy. And then for a second cast, Scragrot's gonna cast Itchy Nuisance, uh, which will just barely go off on a six. And he's gonna put Itchy Nuisance on the Dordrentas. So strikes last. Then the Squid Boss is gonna give Yellow Lurkas to uh, my Bounders, and the Madcap Shaman's gonna cast Hoarfrost which goes off on a nine. We're gonna put it on uh, those bounders, on the, the gobs, on the squigs, which is gonna make them hit on twos. Forgot to do uh, the moon, so we'll see if the moon moves. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, it does. Yep, so yeah. now it's in the center of the board, so it covers everything. Nice. Oh boy, you're running charge everywhere. Yeah, not complaining about that. Then at the start of the movement, the sneaky snufflers are going to try and give the ward save to those uh, bounders as well. 
which they do. But that's it for the hero phase and we'll jump into movement. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna spend that command point and redeploy those pigs there. Okay. For a big two inches. So it's gonna be a five inch charge now. And I think that's honestly all the movement I, I'm gonna do here. <laughs> um, and we can just jump into charges. <laughs> we'll start off with those bounders. And they'll have impact mortals on four ups. Is going to be six mortal wounds. Oh, wow. All right. And that's all the charges, so monstrous action. I think I'm just gonna roar you. Did I get it? Uh, you roared me. Well, I think I'll just uh, go for a titanic duel. And then with the Gordrantha's fighting last, as I said, I'm just start off combat with the Mangler Swig. And because the mount is all buffed up with his uh, loadout, we're gonna start there first. The gobs will be on twos and threes. Twos and twos, actually, sorry. Um, so it'll be three at Ren two. So it's gonna put us on sixes. And we're not gonna save any of those. D6 each for 13. Whew. I think he's got one left. We'll see if the balls and chains can finish him off. And they do get the left. plus one hit and wound as well, because that's part of the mount. And that's gonna be four at Ren 2. Well, I'm gonna need four sixes here. <laughs> and we don't get that, so that's gonna definitely kill the pig. Uh, well, you got the brutes to fight next. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead with them. So on fours and on threes. Uh, so that's gonna be three damage, because okay. they're still buffed. And then the special weapon, so this is the Mighty Gore Hacker. Uh, so we got two hits. And one at minus two Goes for through. three damage. Okay, so six total, you'll kill three squigs. Then we'll go next with the bounders. And they're gonna get all out attack for free from Stragrot. Uh, well, I'm definitely gonna all out defense right there. So we're gonna do the gobs first, which get the extra attack on the charge. So Oof. a casual 40 attached, doing immortals on sixes and hitting on twos. So it's just four mortal wounds to start. That's gonna be 20 attacks at rend one. So with an all out defense, it's gonna put us back on a four plus save. And I'm gonna fail 14 of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we got the riders up top. Who are to be hitting on threes and threes. Uh, no mortals on these ones, but they will be Ren 2, 2 damage. Yep. And that's 10 going through. So 10 to minus 2 is going to put us on a 5 plus save. And it looks like we're only going to save three of those. So 7 times 2 for 14 is going to take oh, out oh the pigs. <laughs> well, uh, we got a couple of squids left with the herd, so we're going to attack there next. And there'll be fours and threes to hit. That's going to be 10 at rend one, one damage. All right, so we're saving on flags again. So we're going to take four, which is just enough to kill the unit. Well, uh, that was definitely a turn. Um, again, showing the freaking insane lethality of these guys. Um, oh, yeah. Especially at your attacks with the buffs. Notable that I, you know, when you get the, you know, automatic actually mortals on sixes, the, the only thing I had to roll for was the sneaky snuffler buff, which I got off, didn't, doesn't really matter here, but, um, and I did get Hoarfrost off, which is obviously super helpful as well especially with uh, 40 some odd, I think it was 40 yeah. gob attacks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, it definitely uh, puts into perspective how crazy these guys can be. And I do also get to roll at the end of the hero face to see if I can bring back five founders. I do. Oh, look at that. <laughs> More kits. <laughs> yeah, just a casual uh, recursion. Very low key, not that good at all. I am storing just four points here. There was a world in which I could have teleported something, um, but with so many threats in my face, I just wanted to try and prioritize dealing with those. The spell was big, um, both for killing the Maw Crusher and then being able to do the fights last on the, the pages at me. Oh yeah. Yeah, obviously as we saw, activate both places first, which uh, yeah, it was wild. Um, there are still orcs left <laughs> on the table though, Steve. 
So the fighting is not over. <laughs> it's and not done till we're all dead. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, so with that, I think we can jump into Iron Jaws turn two. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's do Lead to the Maelstrom. Um, heroic action. I think I have to find a tower here on the War Chanter. Okay, I will go for just a command point on Stradgrot, which I get. And now uh, we're gonna spend our last command point for Mighty Destroyers. And we're gonna pull some brutes over here. Oop. And we'll go ahead and throw the damage buff from this War Chanter on these guys and this War Chanter on this guy, on the other War Chanter. Let's try on a two up over With here Zodrak, yep. to see if Zogrok can give his uh, power up to Great Green God. Oh my gosh. Whew. All right, Ridge, I see how hard it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's Hero Phase. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to movement. Want to help the channel add new armies and units? Consider tossing over a super chat or super thanks to chip in towards our latest goal. And uh, yeah, that's, the, that's my movement phase there. A okay. very short movement phase. And uh, no more shooting because the Maw Crush is dead. So let's go straight into the charge phase. Uh, on a three plus, we're going to get them beat, these guys. Yep. You got and I it, three nice. Six, finally, yes. all right. So let's see if we can get the charge here. Uh, I believe we said it was what, 11 inches? That is not an 11. So I unfortunately don't have the CP to reroll this. So this is gonna be a very, very difficult charge phase. Yeah. Uh, let's... And that's gonna be our charge phase. Let's go to combat. I think I have to start with Zogrok here. When Zogrok attacks, the Bounders use all out defense and the Auric hero fails to deal even a single wound. All right, Zogrok's doing great this game. <laughs> yeah, not his uh, best showing. But we'll go then in with a squid, uh, single squid and handlers. The remainder of the squig herd deals two damage to the war chanter, then the auric fails to deal any damage with his retaliation. Lastly, the bounders pile in and try to take down Zogrok. 13, four up saves. And I've only got six wounds left, so let's see how well this goes on fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kills him to the wound. Okay, I think that's the end of the turn there. No more combats, no battle yep. shocks anywhere. Uh, so we're going to end the turn with hold one, hold two uh, for two points. Okay, yeah, the um, three, six, well, you got it off. Didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't work out for you. Turns out you still need to roll half decent. Yep, yep, yep. You still need to be able to roll dice in order to roll dice. Yeah, <laughs> so. makes sense. So yeah, we're going to priority. Okay, looking at round three. That's a three. That's yours again, sir. All right, Steve. We're gonna see what we can do. Uh, jumping into Gloom Spike gets turn three. I think I'm dead, guys. <laughs> First thing we gotta do is see if the moon moves. And actually, it's in the middle already, so Stride Rot's gonna use his ability just to hold it in place. Cover Sounds the good. board. All right, so for battle tactic here, I'm just gonna go for an easy intimidate the invaders. And my heroic action is just going to be a heroic leadership, which I'll fail. I think I'm gonna have to go for a uh, finest hour on that war chanter there and see if he can survive. Okay, well, I did uh, do have to bring some strigs back. So on two ups, we lose another herder, but we're to be bringing 43 strigs back for eight strigs. And rolling Primal Dice, we'll get none for either of us. And then I will go for Fangs of Demad Bad Moon with Stride Rot. He'll get that off with a six. I might as well try and deny it. Whoop. And I do not, so that's yours. Okay, it's gonna be just six dice. Uh, four mortal wounds, the War Chanter, yeah, yep. Right. Then Stride Rot's just gonna try and cast the Mystic Shield, which he'll get, and he'll put that on the Mangler Swigs. And then the Madcap Shaman's gonna cast Hoarfrost. Um, which he'll fail. And then the squid boss is actually out of range of both the bounders and the squid herd. So he's gonna uh, give his mushrooms to the mangler squid, the loon boss, and he's gonna do crimson death cap. This is gonna give him plus three inches of movement. And then the sneaky snufflers are going to uh, try and uh, give him a ward save, which they do. That's it for the buffs and we're into movement.
And that's moving, so uh, let's jump into charges. We'll start off with the bounders over here. And then for monstrous actions, we're gonna roar those brutes. We do. And I'm gonna fight first with the unit of 10 bounders. And that's where I will all out attack. And we'll start off with the gobs. So threes and threes. So we'll have 16 at rend one, one damage. So rend one with all the teeth turns, put back to a four plus. 13 failed. Woo! Uh, that's the unit. Okay. Who needs riders when you have squigs? All right, I think I'm gonna, I think we're gonna go over here. The war chanter is next to fight and deals seven damage to the five bounders. And then we got the huge mangler. We're gonna start off with the mount, of course. The loon boss on mangler squigs deals exactly 15 damage to precisely take out the brutes. Mangler doing work. Lastly, the two bounders try to take down the lone remaining auric hero. And we fail three. That's enough to kill him. Oh, oh to the wound. wound. Well, uh, they will have to take a battle shock test because you killed three of them. I have one more time right. I got CP out. Uh, a ton of CP, so I'll inspire them. Steve, it's gonna be. I think I think that's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hold one, two more. Uh, well, death, is, you know, easy intimidate, and. Uh... Here's your five point turn, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we uh, we did it, and I think for the time being we can say the little green skins are the mighty green skins. For now. For now. Until next yes. time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But obviously, I mean, even looking at these two bounders, it's just wild after you kill the unit, or sorry, after you kill three of them, just two back, how many, I put seven, eight attacks through at rend one. Yeah, sorry. yes, the, the, the rider attacks, The rider attacks actually would have been two damage, didn't even yeah, mention that, and yeah. rend two. Yeah. So I totally forgot about that as well, with their, their attacks there, so. Um, just wild, obviously, they're all kind of glass cannon units. Oh um, yeah, oh, but. Yeah. We're both high rend on the charge. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and definitely, don't have the greatest saves, yeah. so it's uh, definitely one side or the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, crazy. Um, again, like I said earlier, this is the first time I've played Dits in a, in a long time. The first time I've ever played this Great Herd. While I've played against it, I've usually I've been able to try and avoid it or something when I've played, you know, I've played against it with Deep Kin and whatnot. But uh, it was honestly eye-opening to see what that output was. Yeah, yeah, I, d I definitely did not respect it, thinking yeah. that the uh, the the Mogrunta there would have killed the Snufflers and I would have gotten a smash and bash. I think if, if things changed, I'd definitely do that the other yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Well, and <clears throat> the Mogrunta, we were talking about it earlier, is one, a guy where, until he's up on his highest bracket, he always kind of underwhelms what he does. Like, yep. I mean, you probably would have done a little more, but the Snufflers have a five award save, so that yeah. probably kept a couple alive. And then, For sure. Yeah, but but the difference between thinking you were gonna be able to trade your smashing and bashing and fighting again gave the the the, the, the herd and the opportunity, right? Yep, and that, and that's definitely just you know food for thought. You know, always make sure that if you're gonna smash and bash, yep. that you have to make sure that you're killing something. And yep. while I thought that was gonna work, my dice disagreed. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yep. uh, that definitely has that that is something was something to keep in mind. Yeah, and that was obviously like the turning point of the game. The like defining moment of the battle um when i when i saw i said it when you charged in i was like well i think this game is gonna be over really yeah. quick and while it was a brutal game i didn't i thought it was going to be me getting wiped out now priorities were massive right yeah because uh, yeah. not only i won two and three but just two the turn two priority was the big one because there's a good chance you're you know you bring the six pigs in the oh, mod yeah, renters sure. coming in you're lifting potentially two more things and... The, the Maw Crusher's going in, he's yeah. gonna get some healing, we're gonna get Zogrok to a try to buff something again. Yeah, but. And, and you were in prime position to smash my Loon Shrine, right? So, yep. um, obviously with, with being super aggressive, the, the herd um, gave me a chance in this one in, in terms of, of staying in the game, but then I think, yeah, in hindsight, that turn two prio would have probably flipped the game either way. Yep, yep. 100%. Yeah, I think because, again, pigs come in, you're lifting my heroes or my other 10-pack of bounders, probably. And yeah, 
regardless of what the door, the mod renter does, just smash into rubble my terrain piece means and I'm not- And nothing bringing, coming back, yeah. And then I basically just have like maybe my, my mangler, but whatever's left of the squid herd, Probably was going to be getting taken out by the mock crusher and the brutes that were still alive, and that yeah. really was all I needed. Was yes. just those two just to come in and cook. Because I was only I was down to one herd, so I only had uh, sorry I was down to one squid, so I only had twelve wounds left or fourteen wounds left in that yeah. unit. Yeah. So or no, I, I think it was just the herders. It uh, might have been, but obviously easy yep. you know, like that. at that point for the the. Uh, Mock crusher, crusher to take out, yeah. Finish them off, gain some health, and and, and his bracket, like he was low on health, but his bracket doesn't degrade too badly. Like his profile, well, he only loses a couple of attacks and yeah. like I think four inches of movement overall. Um, yeah. So like he's still going to be going where he wants. He still had his hero phase move available. Yeah. You know, so uh, just a little unfortunate that we died to things of the uh, yeah. things of the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Stradrot spell. Alariel's so jealous of it. She has the same spell, but his is. 24 inch range compared to her 12. Yeah. Um, yeah, very good spell. Obviously, uh, like you said, saw it here. Being able to finish off stuff opens up that battle tactic, which isn't a super commonly used one, right? Yeah, for sure. Unless you can guarantee a blizzard, but that spell is... Was re really, really lucky with the starting roll on that with the, uh, what was it, 10, I think? Yeah, To 10, start, yeah. and I was like, oh, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be getting this Yeah, one. and we had two primals, so I just dumped them in to get that off. And, yeah. Yep, for sure. Yeah, basically guaranteed the battle tactic there. With that though, guys, we're gonna wrap things up for today. Uh, big bloody destruction match between the, the big green skins and the little ones, but the little ones uh, were fortunate to come out on top today. But I just wanna say a big thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this battle report and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.